Fis egg. Fisek. I don't know how to say it. Fisek. I'm gonna go with Fisek. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below if I'm saying it right or wrong. I don't know. Anyway, Fisek is celebrating 10 years this month. Congratulations. That's pretty epic. To celebrate, they sent us over this Voron V0.2 kit, and it's not just a basic Voron kit that is BYOP, you know, bring your own parts. Nope, this kit includes everything. It's basically a speedy little Voron in a box with everything necessary to go from a pile of metal and plastic parts to a tiny little speed demon. Now, I didn't have enough time to assemble it and print for their anniversary celebration, but I'm actually really impressed with the kit. We showed it off on our Twitch stream and people loved it, but I am so impressed anyway that I wanted to unbox it and uh, share with you exactly what you get when you grab one. So sit back, relax, and let me run commentary on myself here while we go through the kit together. And of course, I'll have a link to Fisec and the price on the screen and in the description below. Go check them out. All right, let's get started. Now I'm gonna go ahead and watch along with you, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is uh, not a BYOP kit. So this is not a bring your own prints. Um, this is a complete kit. So I'm opening up each of these bags here and I'm just kind of looking at the print quality. And from what I gathered, and the print quality was absolutely epic. It was really good. And sorry about that. That was out of focus. Obviously I didn't catch that uh, when filming. But uh, the print quality is excellent. I, I didn't find any parts in, in my kit that, uh, that looked, well, less than satisfactory. I mean, they were all pretty good. So, And that's just me. I'm just kind of going over them, looking at everything. And uh, I'll hold them up here to the camera uh, when I can. But I love it. So I have a couple of Vorons. And um, to be honest with you, I don't have time. Uh, to be digging through and printing all the parts. And I found that uh, with uh, with both Vorons that I have here, I have a Trident and I have a 2.4. Um, I, I ended up in a spot where I just had to spend like 30 or 45 minutes looking for the right part to print. And ultimately, I just don't have time. Um, I mean, I could do it. I could sit down there and dig through those folders. I just didn't have time. So this is kind of nice that um, all the print uh, printed parts are there. Now there's your enclosure. Um, that's your side panels your uh, your lid all that good stuff all the acry acrylic they're all bundled up nice and nice and tight now here is your build plate bracket and uh, it's pretty heavy duty it is solid i didn't get a measurement on it um but it's uh it's pretty solid and you'll see me here tap on it i was trying to get it to make a sound um but it didn't it's just nice and metal um but uh, anyway no it's it's pretty heavy duty it's pretty solid and uh, there were a couple other components in that bag, and I almost smashed them when I was putting it back in there. But uh, yeah, no, I think uh, I think uh, Fizek has done a great, great job here. And uh, there's a couple of things in here. There's a thermistor, uh, and then of course, look at this build plate. Look at it. This is absolutely fantastic. So that's a six and a half millimeter uh, aluminum uh, build plate, uh, and then uh, the uh, flexible build sheet that goes on top um, is 120 millimeters so it's a tiny little guy pretty nice put that away and then uh, it runs a meanwell power supply which is kind of nice right so everybody's looking for the meanwell power supplies and everything and uh, it's I mean just a tiny little guy like you'd expect nice and shiny yeah and uh, keep in mind that with this particular machine there's no soldering there's no wire crimping there's none of that uh, this machine is a pretty sweet little kit or at least this kit i should say is uh is is pretty nice so it's going to be a uh, the type of kit that uh you're you're basically just going to walk through those instructions and, and put this machine together and i, and I don't think people are going to have trouble because i know that vorons can be intimidating for a lot of people um, but yeah, this will be pretty simple. Now these extrusions here, these are 15 millimeter extrusions and they are so tiny. Look at them. So cute. I mean, this is a, this is a small printer, um, very capable and very fast, um, and pretty high quality, but yeah, look at those little extrusions. I love them. Uh, Mrs. LM, my wife, she was in here when I was doing this and, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. She liked them. All right. A couple stepper motors here. And uh, yep, I was just seeing what brand they were. These are these are branded uh, Fisec, so um, I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna find a different different name on them. But uh, yeah, 
And then uh, the next one I dig out of here, it's pretty oily, which is good. I mean, it should be oiled up. You'll see me cheat. I kind of wipe my hands there uh, on the far side of the uh, packing. But uh, yeah, no, good looking, good looking steppers. A little close up shot right there. And uh, yeah, yeah, I sneak the wipe off right there. <laughs> and uh, anyway, yep. So uh, all your little uh, electrical uh, accessories are all stuffed down in here. I'm just take, kind of digging through, uh, taking a look at them. You got you got side cutters. We got PTFE tubes. We got Ethernet cable. We got, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. And then uh, let's see, um, what do we got? More electrical, it looks like. And then um, there's the fasteners pack, which is here, which is always uh, big and heavy. But to be honest with you, I was surprised. So it, when, you, when you've assembled a larger Voron, there are a lot of fasteners. Now, there's probably just as many fasteners. They're probably just smaller. Um, but ultimately, here it is. And uh, yeah, look at those little PCB fastener nuts right they slide inside the extrusions which is pretty nice for attaching rails right so instead of with uh, with other boron kits you know you have to slide those fasteners inside the rails and get them to the exact right spot when you're trying to or i'm sorry in the extrusions when you're trying to get the rail aligned and put on yeah those pcb ones just slip in there and everything's aligned and here you go here is the uh the main uh board for the machine right that catalyst right there yeah and look at it like i said there'll be no soldering and no wire crimping, you're just gonna attach everything right to that board, and uh, that's pretty nice. Like I said, I actually kinda see this as a family kinda kit, right? So um, I have a couple of kids uh, that uh, that are interested in this kinda stuff, and I thought, you know what, I think we're gonna sit down with my oldest, and either have him put it together completely, and I'll just kinda sit along with him, or we'll do it together. But, uh, yeah. Shove that back in there. Yeah, I think I think it's kind of nice that there's no soldering, no crimping, just like a nice little put together kit. All right, here, yeah, just more electronics components here. I think uh, I think one of these might have an Ethernet uh, dongle in it, um, but yeah, all the electronics right here, all the electrical. Shove it back here in the box. So anyway, I am looking forward uh, to putting together a full video. So we'll we may not do an assembly video. But uh, I think we'll do a complete video where we kind of go over, kind of review it, and uh, print with it and see what kind of print quality it, uh, it can produce. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, though. Um, I've seen other content uh, with this exact machine, and it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Now, yeah, look at the size of those extrusions. My gosh, those things are small. Pretty cool. All right. And uh, let's see. That is it uh, for this kit. So now we're going to go ahead and throw it back together. But how simple is that, huh? I mean, think about that. That is a Voron V0.2, which I mean, ultimately, you're, I mean, it's a full size. Well, it's a full Voron, just shrunk down. It, it's not any easier um, than than any other Voron to put together. It's all the same parts. It's kind of like it's kind of like building a, a a thousand square foot house or building a three thousand square foot house. It's got the same amount of walls. Uh, it's just everything's just stretched out a little bit. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We will have the links on the screen and in the description uh, for Fisec. Um, I don't even know what the price is, but we'll probably have that on the screen. And I've been told that they were going to go ahead and give me some coupon codes. Um, so for some either a, some free Voron V0.2s um, or some heavy discounts. So look at the description of this video. And if not, head over to my Discord. I'll have a link to my Discord on the screen and in the description as well. And uh, come by our Twitch stream, which is at twitch.tv slash loyalmoses. And uh, we're live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Come by and uh, you know, maybe we'll have some discount codes there as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, happy anniversary, Fisec. We'll see you in the next one.